Hey guys, thanks so much for coming over to watch this video. This is Alan with Hernandez Mastermind. And on today's video, guys, I'm working on optimizing one of my uh, videos that I just uploaded to YouTube. And optimization is really basically about um, using certain keywords and tags and description and, you know, optimizing the video settings and options to uh, basically help it rank uh, when people search for it and also um, to give it you know enough engaging options so that people can um, engage with it and so I'm gonna kinda walk you through the basics on how I do it and so if you're interested please keep watching All right, so first things first, something that I like to use um, when I'm researching my keywords is the Keyword Planner tool from Google. If we go back to uh, YouTube here, the key to understand how to optimize this video so it ranks is several things to keep in mind. One is your title. Two is going to be your description. And then three, we have what we call the tags, which will go here. Now, these three options need to relate to each other. And another thing that is also recommended um, so that it helps the rank is that your file uh, for that video when you first uploaded it should also match that title for the video that you're going to use. We're going to walk through the other options as we go, uh, advance and things like that. And then I'm going to uh, walk you through the end screen and um, cards and other, you know, engaging options part of the video. And that's really more to help it engage with your viewers. But the key here is to optimize it. So, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and grab this entire title. We're going to go over to the keyword here. I'm just going to drop it all there. Choose Get Ideas. So here you're going to see that we have several options, right? We can already see that it's starting to pull up, you know, HostGator domain. So it's, it's giving us option. And then you can see that we have uh, email hosting, right? So there's a lot of ideas here that relate to what we're trying to do. Look at this one. Now, if you don't see much on the first search results here uh, without going to um, the next page, let's go ahead and search for something else. Like if we go back to the entire tagline here that we have the title. Let's choose um, set up uh, domain with Office 365. Let's try that. And you get where I'm going with this, right? You want to kind of change your combination around. All right, so you basically get how the uh, keyword research works. You know, take your time with the keyword planner tool. And once you've gathered enough uh, tags slash keywords, uh, to go in this option here, you know, like I said, try to be selective and specific. Choose the high volume ones and have at least 10. There may be more than 10, but, you know, just fill them up pretty good. And different ones. Don't make them all the same. Just make them to be different so that it relates to the video. You want to target some of the ones that say HostGator, some of the ones that say Domain, some of the ones that say Office 365, Set Up, you name it, so that the entire title are part of those tags. Now the next thing that we're going to do here is basically optimize our description here to use those tags. So for example, I'm going to write something here that relates to those tags. So I might start it with something like uh, setting up a HostGator domain with your Office 365 account it's not that complicated, right? So as you can see, I'm using the setting up word there, the HostGator domain, the Office 365 account, and then I'm just kind of adding a little extra, you know, to go with it. There it is, the, the Office 365 again, there's the HostGator, there's the cPanel, and there's gonna be, you know, DNS, all these words are gonna be part of those keywords that we're going to be using, keep in mind. Um, and again, I'm not gonna, spend too much time on this I'm just kind of showing showing you the basics you have to fill it in you have to take your time to complete it let's say that we have uh, 10 keywords that we've researched and we have them here 
And then we want to basically use them on the title of that video. And then we want to repeat those keywords as much as possible on our description. So let's say that this is a keyword here. This is another keyword. We want to add some description and add them throughout that description several times. But not just the same keyword. We want to use as many of those keywords as possible throughout the description. Another thing that's also recommended to help you optimize the video and get those clickbacks um, is to add the title down here and also the URL of the video. The reason is that a lot of times you'll see your video gets added on other websites and shared and so on. So if the description is also populated with it, you'll have that link to go back to your video. So it's great to have that at the very end. So let's pretend that we're done with the description. Looks good, right? Let's go ahead and save that for now. Another thing to also do is go into the advanced settings here. And the category really has a lot to do with it. If this is going to be a video related to um, you, in particular, the one who made it, right? It's more people-like. It's more blog-like. Uh, however, if it's a, an actual educational video where, you know, it's all educational, there's really not much of you in it, it's not much personal, um, then you might want to choose the educational category and so on, you know, depending on what the video is, the category is very important. Giving this video a location is also great because uh, it really helps you target that location. So, um, you know, if there's people searching for this video in your area, you know, they're more likely to find it easily because the video relates to where they're at as well. So give this a location. This also helps a lot. If you're targeting a location that doesn't really matter if it's local or not, then give it an open location like, you know, in my example, I target Florida. So, you know, this video really service-wise doesn't have to be for someone down the street from me or local. It could be anyone really. So I'm going to target Florida. All right, another thing to also keep in mind from here is whether or not you want to allow comments. Very important by default, this is available. Me personally, I choose to only show those that I approve. So I recommend that you do that because a lot of times you might just get some nonsense comments from some spammers. So it's good to only show those really good and relevant uh, comments. So choose approved. And also the last thing here is whether or not you want to allow viewers to contribute to that video now me personally I do not want this to be enabled but it's uh, recommended if you're trying to have the YouTube community contribute to it and the more people contribute to that in terms of the descriptions the titles and things like that this could help it really rank up pretty quickly another thing to also do to optimize the video is to give it a thumbnail the thumbnail is great because it's going to be relevant to what the video is and if you notice some of the thumbnails that were generated from the video, as you can see here, they're not um, relevant to what I want the viewer to see, right? Now, look at the one that I chose where it shows the Office 365 uh, settings panel here, the interface. You can see the domains, and you can see all the DNS settings required, right? You see that on the thumbnail. However, on the other ones, you only see my YouTube channel um, home page you see this C panel here from HostGator so I mean it's okay but it's not relevant to what the video is actually about and the key here is Office 365 and setting up a domain right and that's what this thumbnail offers there's other videos guys that are created on um, you know creating thumbnails for your videos using Adobe Photoshop so make sure that you subscribe and um, don't miss out on that video. Um, go ahead and find it. And there's going to be a lot more videos I'm going to be releasing on Adobe Photoshop to really help your brand as we go on. And so subscribe now if you're not yet a subscriber. You're pretty much done with the basics. You know, we got the basic information here. You got your advanced settings. And that should be good enough to get this video online, right? Now, there's other things that are optional, and I'm just going to walk you through those really quickly just to help that video engage. So first, if you're going to monetize the video, which, of course, who's not, then you're going to need to enable uh, Google AdSense and monetization on your channel if you have not yet done that. If you have, 
then this option is just a matter of a click away like this. You can play with the ads on how the ad breaks are displayed, as you can see here. So you can play with those if you like. There is a video that I created on enabling monetization in Google AdSense and all of that on the channel. So make sure that you go ahead and find it if you have not yet done this. And as always, if you're not yet a subscriber, you may not see that video. So hit subscribe now. As mentioned, we're also going to cover a lot more monetization videos on the channel. Um, another thing to also keep in mind is the end screen and annotation. So let's jump on that really quick because this is a great engaging uh, option and feature for your YouTube video. So for example, if we choose a template here, you'll see that in the last couple seconds of your video, you're going to be able to engage your viewer with either those videos you recommend with the subscribe button, right, and things of that nature. So you can see there's several templates that you can go with. Once you go with a lot of videos on the channel, you might want to choose something like this and promote lots of those recommended videos. I choose something more simple, right? I choose this template here. Where is it? This one right here, right? So I got that one. And as you can see, it's that one there. And then you can have the option on the second one here to recommend either your most recent upload, what YouTube recommends is best for your viewer, or choose a playlist. The best for viewer, I think, works great. Um, you can really compete with how smart the YouTube platform is. So the best for viewer, I think, is great. Uh, considering that you're going to have lots of videos on the channel, you know, let it let it recommend what what's best for your viewers. So let me show you a quick preview of what what it does when it gets towards the end. You'll see all the other featured channels. You see that? that so they can from here choose to subscribe or to do continue watching that video while your is to video over plays to the behind the scenes. For that particular channel. So that's great to engage your viewers. Associated. With cars, Hello, it's almost everyone. the same thing. Thanks so much for coming over. So here, you know, as the video is playing, you're able to display um, either, uh, let me show you the different options here. We add a car, we have a video or playlist, a channel, donation, poll, or link. So this is great because, um, you know, in a certain time when the video is playing, you can display that, that promotion, right, that card. That you want them to see. So let me show you an example of what I mean by this. First, let me grab my um, affiliate link here really quick that that I like to uh, promote on this video. All right, so there it is. Now another thing too to keep in mind: um, this, if if you're promoting um, a, a link. It must be a link associated to your website, which you have to go through this approval and verifying that you own it, you know, all that. It's much easier if you're promoting a video or a playlist or a channel than it is a link. But in my example, I already have my website uh, verified, so just a matter of a click away. And considering that this is a business type video, right, um, this Ring Central product is great for this promotion. So I'm going to choose recommendation. Uh, let's see, get office phone, teaser, all in one cloud, okay. Let me choose a photo here, which I already have all this. Again, you know, you should have all these options, so I already have all this. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose uh, from my list here, and I have it all saved, guys. I'm very organized, as you can see. So create that card. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it where I think it should go. And normally I like to let them play the video and enjoy it for a couple of minutes and then I'll drop that card. Or if it's, you know, something that you're saying on the video and, you know, why you're saying it, that card is perfect to, to, to show, then you should know that time. Uh, in my example, this is just recommending it. So I normally would do within the two minute mark, I'll drop that. And then I'm going to create another one around the six minute mark right here, where it's more about, you know, my uh, consultation. So I'll show you what it's going to look like when, when you do this. Now, let me show you what it will look like. They're playing your video, right? Emails with your cPanel, with your hosting account. Then you create them here. Now look at the top it. right of your video. It doesn't matter if you create them here or not, if you are hosting them with office 365 so let me correct that 
So, so this was just going to happen because I already have had it when I initially on it, started. Then However, this it doesn't up. matter if it's here or not. Well, what it does matter. Same idea when they go into this particular timeline here. The C name. name. Same thing happens in C again. name. We're going to switch the record here to C name. That you created. And the name of this record is Auto See, Discover. Click on it, then that comes up. So basically, once you have cars enabled, guys, the key here is, and most people eventually, as they get to see these more often, they know that whether or not the teaser is is displaying, they they they'll see this um this circle on the top right. Then when they click it they would then be able to see all the different cars that you have enabled. See, I got the recommendation product, and then I have my consultation. Very simple. You know, this is just something I'm starting with um, in terms of, you know, what, what I'm using the, the cards feature for. And that's it. There you have it. How to optimize your YouTube videos. Uh, this is basic. There's a lot more that we can do, of course. Um, you know, we can add this video on your Google AdWords and really... Uh, push his ranking right and his position and on uh, YouTube search results there's other things that we can you do to share the video so that it ranks up pretty quickly again you know make sure that you subscribe because I'm going to be covering a lot more and uploading those videos to the channel if you like the video you just watched go ahead and hit the thumbs up option while you're here right below the video also Choose to share this video on social media as well. I'm sure there's someone out there who can benefit from the video. Another thing you can do from here, guys, is post your comments and share your experience watching the video, but also any questions you may have. Most importantly, though, choose subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber of this channel. The next thing that you can do from here is to move over to the name of the channel if you like to go into the home page of that particular channel. From here, you have the option to play any other video from the particular playlists that are available. If you look on the right hand side of the particular channel that you're watching, you will see all the other featured channels that we also own. Another important thing to also do while you're here on the home page is to navigate over to the website for that particular channel and the social media profiles associated to it. As always, this is Alan Hernandez, and I look forward to our next video.